Jonathan Bateman looking to continue his stellar performance from Saturday night. The Junior Canucks looking for revenge. 15 minutes into the game, no score. Gary Lowen picks up the puck along the boards, goes the length of the ice, a backhand pass to Oscar Burgess. A save by Connor Webb, but he goes down hard. Chaos ensues, the Junior Canucks sticking up for their goalie. Webb would be okay and stay in the game. The resulting penalties include a game misconduct for Burgess and Riley Swiskowski. This rivalry starting to heat up. A minute and a half later, miscommunication by the Huskies. The puck picked up by Dustin Bame across the blue line, still with it, crosses Bateman and slides it past the Huskies netminder. It's 1-0 Junior Canucks. On to the second period now, six and a half minutes in. Huskies with the puck along the boards. Alex Nemo heads behind the net, throws it out front. It hits a body, but Jared Winkle bats it out of the air past Webb. What a goal, short-handed at that. Winkle from Nemo and Joel Bourgeois. A 1-1 game, but they're not done yet. One minute later, Brandon Rowley with the puck to Mason Ducharme. He's intercepted by Gary Lowen. Jeff Dick with it now. He shoots Webb with the save, but Dick jumps on his rebound and buries it. No mistakes on his second attempt. Some extracurriculars after this play. The tension continuing to build, but it's 2-1 Huskies. In the third now, Dawson Creek on the power play. Off the faceoff, Rowley wins it, but a scramble for the puck. It finds Bame who shoots it on net. Bateman gives a huge rebound and Rowley is there to capitalize. Six and a half minutes into the third period, it's a 2-2 game. Over the midway mark of the final period, the junior sees bringing the puck out around their net. Gary Lowen poke checks the puck and gains possession. The scramble along the boards, Dick takes it away from Liam Craig and finds Brady Marzocco alone in front of Webb. He one-times it near post past the Dawson Creek goalie, and that would be the game winner. The Huskies would go on to score one more, courtesy of Gary Lowen. 4-2 is the final. There was periods of time there where it was a little bit sloppy, and there's some stuff that we'll go back to work next week and try to clean it up. But overall, sometimes when games are frustrating like that, it shows you a good character on our behalf that we were able to sift through it and continue on and, and get to our end goal, which is the two points on each game that we were looking for. Uh, it's a big weekend. We struggled in the first two periods last night, in the first period today, and but we battled through and came out on top both nights. It's good. We just got to beat on them a little more. We just got to play the body a little more. We got to get into, uh, you know, got to get in the corners first. They beat us to the puck all night. Uh, they pretty much did whatever they wanted with us in this game. So last night was a little different. The last 20 minutes kind of kind of went that way, and it just continued on. It continued on to this game. And I mean, you can't get beat in your own corners. I mean, this is our rink. So they came in and threw us out of our own rink. So. We'll look to do that there. Lots of us grew up playing against each other, so it's always tough games against them, and they're always hard battles. And we're just going to do our best here and hopefully see them in the playoffs and beat them.